What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Today, I am going to be talking about and showing you all something very, very efficient that's gonna save you time and make your life a lot easier. And that is, how do you get email addresses and consumer information from your website into your email marketing lists very efficiently so that you can do the email marketing back to those new customers that you want to do as a marketer. Things you will need for this include a WordPress website, a plugin in WordPress called Gravity Forms, and a MailChimp account. Now, the good news is MailChimp is free, up to 2,000 email addresses. WordPress is free. You just kind of need to be pretty good at putting together a WordPress website. And Gravity Forms, well, it's not free, but it's only $100 a year, maybe $150 a year, I can't really remember, to get a single site license for Gravity Forms. But it's gonna allow you to do so many things with forms on your website, it'll make your head explode. So let's jump right into this. Here's the back end of my WordPress website, and you can see that I have Gravity Forms installed. Now, I've been spending a lot of time manually lately on an event registration where I've been copying and pasting these emails, phone numbers, names, and company names from my email notification into my MailChimp account. And I thought to myself recently, why am I doing this? I'm a web developer. I've done email marketing before. I know how to do marketing automation. I need to hook up my website to my MailChimp account so that I don't have to do anything. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you go into Forms, this is Gravity Forms, and we're gonna to go to Add-ons. Now Gravity Forms comes with several different add-ons, and I say several, and, and really it's more like 90 to 100. So you're gonna click Forms, and then you're gonna click Add-ons, and you're gonna find the MailChimp add-on, okay, and install it. Now there's several other add-ons. I could do the next year's worth of data-driven daily tips on each of the Gravity Forms add-ons. And um, we've successfully installed the MailChimp add-on, so we're gonna activate it. And then once you activate the MailChimp add-on, you're gonna go into the Gravity Forms MailChimp add-on and click Settings. And it's gonna ask you for your MailChimp API key. So like I told you at the beginning, you're gonna to need to have your MailChimp account. And so here's my MailChimp account, and you're gonna go into, you're gonna log in, and then up in the top right-hand corner where you see your name, you're gonna click your name and it's gonna pull down the drop down menu and you're gonna select account. And when you select account, it's gonna take you to this screen here and you're gonna click extras, okay? And then under extras, you're gonna click API keys. And uh, if, you, if you see this cracked egg that says you don't have any API keys, don't worry, just click create a key. And it's gonna create an API key for you. You are going to copy that API key head back over to your WordPress backend where your MailChimp Gravity Forms add-on is, and you're gonna paste it in there and click Update Settings. Once you do that, you get this green little check mark that makes you feel good about yourself, but you're not quite done yet, and here's why. Now, you're gonna go to the form that was collecting the information. Like I told you, I have this event coming up that people are registering for and it is the Nashville Design Week event registration form. And now you can see when I find this under forms, Gravity Forms, under, under that form, under settings, you now see MailChimp. And you're gonna go ahead and click MailChimp. And this is because we've activated the MailChimp Gravity Forms add-on and we've pasted our API key in. And it says MailChimp feeds for this form. You don't have any feeds configured. Let's go create one. Great, so we're gonna click create one and because we have our MailChimp API key in here now, uh, we can just 
see feed settings. We can name it whatever we want. It's gonna say MailChimp feed one. I'm gonna name it Nashville Design Week Registration. It doesn't really matter what you call this. It's just for your own benefit later so you can remember what this feed was for. Now, the cool thing where it says MailChimp list underneath that and select a MailChimp list is because the API has already instantly connected to MailChimp and WordPress Gravity Forms, you can see my my MailChimp lists in here. So these are my MailChimp lists, and I want these submissions to go to Nashville Design Week signups, November 2018. And then it's going to take a minute, reload the page, and now it's gonna map your fields for you. So now you can see under map fields, you need to select email address, and then you need to select email because that's the form field that's on your Gravity Form. And then first name, you wanna select first name, last name, you wanna select last, company name, company name, and then phone for phone. And then once you've done that, you can either say double opt-in or mark subscriber as VIP. Now what this means is MailChimp wants to make sure that users don't just go to a website and fill out a form and put any email address into that form and then all of a sudden that email address shows up on a MailChimp list. And the reason they don't want that is because let's say you're mad at your friend and you wanna go basically clog their inbox with spam from all sorts of uh, websites. You could literally go to like 50 of the most annoying websites and put their email address in. And if there wasn't this double opt-in, they would just start getting email from them. And so the double opt-in sends an email to the actual email address and says, looks like you wanna receive email from this website you know, confirm your email address. And it, and so that's what the double opt-in is. And the reason MailChimp wants that and other email marketing platforms want that is because uh, they don't want you to get blacklisted and then get mad at them for it. So double opt-in, um, we're gonna go ahead and just keep double opt-in there. Uh, although you can mark subscriber as VIP and that kind of can override that setting. But we're gonna go ahead and, and keep double opt-in and then click update settings and now, uh, you can go ahead and test it if you want. It's going to work, but every time somebody comes and fills out the form for the Nashville Design Week registration on our website, it will automatically be sent into our MailChimp list. So I don't have to manually do this anymore. So I'm pretty pumped. And this has been your data-driven daily tip. And if you want more free data-driven daily tips on how to be a badass marketer, Go to dataoveropinions.com or you can get our Alexa skill if you'd rather listen. That's at datadrivendaily.com. We also have a podcast that's on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and on Anchor, anchor.fm slash Paul Hickey. And of course, if you want to support the Data Driven Daily tip, go to support.datadrivendaily.com. And if you just want me to shut up and ask me a question via email, Please do that, paul at datadriven.design. Have a great day.